intrinsic peep now intrinsic peep as i already said it's a complication it's a complication which is developed due to incomplete exhalation it is happening due to retention of the expiratory gases expiratory gases completely not coming out of the alveoli it is due to uh, let's say uh, over inflate let's say over inflation of the alveoli so this is due to this exists this exists due to incomplete exhalation in incomplete exhalation incomplete exhalation before initiation of next breath before starting of next breath starting of next breath so when this will happen that again a new breath will start before complete exhalation of the previous breath accumulation of the air in the alveoli so this will result in this will result in accumulation accumulation of air right in alveoli and this will increase the alveolar pressure this will cause increase in the alveolar pressure at end of expiration at end of expiration and what is peep it is the alveolar pressure at the end of expiration so this accumulation of air is causing uh, the increase in the intrinsic peep and this because air accumulates with each breath progressively so a uh, positive alveolar pressure is developed in the alveoli and this is what is called dynamic hyperinflation or development of intrinsic peep or we call it breath stacking we call it breath stacking so if i show you the image comparing a normal breath and a breath in which breath stacking is happening that is alveolar distension due to incomplete exhalation is happening so the uh, the blue one is normal and the green one is your uh, incomplete exhalation as happening in copd or asthma patient so as you can see with the blue one in the blue one what is happening in blue one inspiration is happening at the tidal volume normal tidal volume and the expiration is expiration or the let's say exp the expired tidal volume right and it is again touching the baseline it is touching the baseline so it is reaching the frc reaching the frc now what is happening in asthma or copd patient due to airway narrowing incomplete exhalation the inspiration happens but the expiration completely does not happen and again the second breath again the second breath start again the second breath start and again incomplete exhalation again the second third breath start again incomplete exhalation this is causing a progressively accumulation of air air is progressively accumulating over the course of each breath and this results in increasing in the frc or dynamic hyperinflation or we call it breath sticking so air air accumulates air accumulates in the lung in the lung progressively progressively with each breath with each breath right and this results in hyperinflation hyper inflation of the alveoli and we call it dynamic hyperinflation this is dynamically happening or we call it breath stacking breath stacking so what would be the complication of this breath stacking it's a good thing let's say it's keeping the alveoli expanded now this has been associated with many complications some complex times it can be life threatening as well so we need to know how to prevent it and we need to know how to manage it so first let us see what are the problems with it what are the complications so coming on the complication the first complication and if you have understood what we have discussed till now or i told you that if increased alveolar pressure would be the the in the intrathoracic pressure would increase intrathoracic pressure would increase the venous return would decrease the venous return would decrease the cardiac output will decrease the cardiac output will decrease the blood pressure would decrease so first thing which can happen uh, with this is your cardiovascular compromise so first major problem with a uh, intrinsic peep and very high intrinsic peep can cause a sudden hypotension in the patient so cardiovascular compromise cardiovascular compromise right what does it do it the intrinsic peep it increases 
intrathoracic pressure which will decrease the venous return which will decrease the cardiac output and this will cause hypotension this will cause hypotension right it can be severe it can be progressive so clinically clinically remember if this is severe if intrinsic peep is very high if severe then progressive cardiovascular collapse can be can we can see progressive cardiovascular collapse and this can result in cardiac arrest in many patient right lot of asthmatic patient or copd patient due to breath stocking can go into cardiac arrest and the most common rhythm of cardiac arrest developed due to breath stocking is pulseless electrical activity there would be normal electrical activity of heart but because of the compression caused by the alveoli because of the decreased venous return there would be no blood in the heart to pump it so pulseless electrical activity so cardiac arrest and the most common rhythm is pulseless electrical activity in case of cardiac arrest due to breath stocking so this could be an important thing that we need to remember so and this is even more exacerbated if patient has a volume depletion volume depletion or patient is on a very high sedatives right so this can be exacerbated this can can be more can be more in case of iv volume depletion intravascular volume depletion or sedative so this can lead to deterioration in the patient this can cause deterioration in the patient okay this can cause further deterioration in the patient so we need to uh, we need to monitor the level of intrinsic peep developing in the patient the other complication due to peep if a very high intrinsic peep is developed this can cause barotrauma and this can cause the damage of the alveoli right so barotrauma and lung injury is the other complication which we can see so the second complication which we can see is your baro barotrauma barotrauma and lung injury lung injury now this is due to over alveolar over distension alveolar over distension right alveolar over distension this would risk the pulmonary barotrauma and will cause ventilator induced lung injury will i right the other problem with peep this intrinsic peep is your high work it will increase the work of breathing of the patient to uh to uh, for ventilator to trigger a breath we the patient has to overcome this intrinsic peep and then the triggering point will be achieved this will increase the work of breathing of the patient right and can cause ineffective triggering in the patient and very difficult to ventilate with very high intrinsic peep so increased work of breathing increased work of breathing right increased work of breathing it will cause now patient has to do more work right more more work required to trigger a breath more work required to trigger a ventilator breath ventilator breath right patient has to overcome and reach the trigger sensitivity overcome the intrinsic peep so remember patient must generate must generate enough negative pressure enough negative pressure to overcome trigger sensitivity trigger sensitivity plus intrinsic peep intrinsic peep so if i explain you simple <coughs> by this diagram now patient has developed a intrinsic peep the trigger sensitivity let's say is minus 1 cm water so one has to achieve this much trigger sensitivity for the inspiratory effort to happen right but patient has developed a intrinsic peep so when this intrinsic peep is developed the alveolar pressure is at a higher level and patient has to do a work to decrease the alveolar pressure and bring the total alveolar pressure below the sense the triggering Uh, at the level of the triggering pressure then only the ventilate the breath would be supported by the ventilator otherwise it would be ineffect ineffective triggering so let's say if intrinsic peep intrinsic intrinsic peep is 
8. We calculate the intrinsic peep, it is 8. Okay, 8 centimeter of water, 8 centimeter water. And the trigger sensitivity, the trigger pressure is let's say minus 2 centimeter of water. So, what patient has to do? Patient has to decrease the work, do the work of breathing to decrease the intraalveolar pressure to minus 10 centimeter of water to overcome this intrinsic peep and bring to this trigger pressure. Then only the breath will be triggered. Otherwise, that would be ineffective triggering. So, this is a huge work of breathing. This would increase the work of breathing of the patient hugely. So, this can Intrinsic PEEP can lead to increased work of breathing, which is one major problem with intrinsic PEEP. There are ways to, to decrease it. There are ways to decrease the work of breathing in these patients. We will discuss about that when we are discussing how to overcome this PEEP. Right? So, how do we evaluate whether this intrinsic PEEP has developed or not? Now, there are qualitative way, there are quantitative way. Qualitative way is by which we see the tracing of the ventilator tracing, ventilator curve tracing and Especially if we see the flow tracing, flow time tracing of the of the ventilator, we would get an idea that expiration is incomplete. It is not completing, and another inspiration is starting. This is leading to the uh, accumulation of the air in the alveoli. So.